Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create an AI shopping list app using MIT App Inventor. So let me show you how this works. So this AI shopping list app, you don't need to type anything. You just need to click on the voice command and you need to speak. So let me show you. Add Apple. Now you can see that when I say add apple to the shopping list, you can see that the apple is added. Now add orange, add banana. Now you can see that whenever I say add, the items are getting added to the shopping list. Now if I want to remove an item, for example banana, I can say it, remove banana. Now you can see that the banana is removed. And now I'm going to say clear all. Clear all. And now you can see that everything is cleared. So let's see how to create this app. Now if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. So first we are going to put a title for this AI shopping list. So let's bring in a label and let's change the text of this to be shopping list. Next we are going to increase the font size of this to be 25 and let's make the font to be bold. We are going to bring this to be at the middle of screen 1. So click on screen 1 and change align horizontal to be center. Now you can see that label 1 came to the center of the screen. Next we are going to use a list view because we are going to show a list of items the shopping list. So again we are going to put the width of this to be fill parent and then if you want you can change the background color so right now I am going to put the background color to be white and then the text color should be black. Now you can see that the list has become white. Next we are going to bring in a button. So this button is for the voice command. Let's change the text of this to be voice command. Now we are going to make the font of this to be bold and let's change the background color to be orange or you can put any color you want. Next we need a speech recognizer component because that's how we can find what the user is speaking. So let's go to media and from here we are going to bring in speech recognizer. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create a variable called shopping list. So in this variable we are going to sh store all the items in the shopping list. So first we are going to put create empty list because it needs to be an empty list. Next when button 1 is clicked, so button 1 is the voice command button. We need to get the text from the user using the speech recognizer. So let's bring in this block when button 1 dot click. And here we are going to bring in called speech recognizer dot get text. Next after the speech recognizer gets the text, so let's bring in this block. Here we need to find out whether they are telling add, remove or clear all. So let me, to, let me tell you how to find it. So first the user who is using the app will tell like add or remove and then they will tell the item. So now I'm going to give you an example of add chocolate. So if the user tells add chocolate first what we are going to do in the block section is we are going to split this wherever there is a space we will split this. After we split it there will be two items. So the first item is add and then the second item is chocolate. So after we get two items, what we will do is we will find whether the first item is add, remove or clear. So after we find now in this case it is add and then if it is add, what we will do is we will take in the second item and add it to the shopping list. So this is how we are going to do for remove and also clear all. So let's do it in the blocks section. First let's bring in an if condition here like this. And then as I told you first we are going to split whatever the user speaks into two parts. So within the space. So here you can see in text there is a block called split at spaces. So this is to split the result. So let's bring in the result here. So we will first split the results into two. So the first one we will get it. So the if the first one is add then we are going to add it to the list. So to get the first one we are going to use the select list item this block. So the list is going to be the split at spaces this one because we will get two items in the list. First one is add or remove and then the second item will be 
the item which they want to add or remove so the index is going to be one because we need to get the first index so let's bring in let's bring in this math block and here we are going to put one now after we select the list item we are going to see whether it is equal to add so let's bring in the equal to block like this so let it let's put it here now inside this equal to block here we are going to put this select list item and we will find whether it is add so let's go to text and here we are going to bring in this and let's type add here so if it is add we need to add the item to the list so let's go to lists and here you can see add items to list let's bring in this block so and then the list item which we are going to add is going to be first let's duplicate this and here the item is going to be the index 2 so as i told you the first index will be add or remove the first word and then the second index will be the item like chocolate or orange whatever they want to add so we will add this the item is going to be let's put it here and then the list in which we need to add is going to be the shopping list next what if they say remove so for that we are going to put an else if condition like this and let's duplicate this here if the result after we split it if it is equal to remove then we are going to go to lists and from here we are going to bring in the remove block so we are going to remove the item from the shopping list so let's bring in this variable get shopping list so the list is going to be the shopping list and then the index is going to be we are going to duplicate this block and then here let's go to lists and here you can see the index cell yeah index in list this block so let's bring it here and then the thing for this is going to be this one and then the list is going to be shopping list so let's bring this here like this and we are going to put it here next we need to do the clear function so when they tell clear or clear all it needs to delete all the items from the list so for this we are going to put another else if like so let me put another else if here and in this else if we are going to use the contains block so if whatever they say using the speech recognizer so let's bring in the contains block if it if the result or whatever the user says contains the text piece so let's bring in the text block and here we are going to put clear so we are going to put it here in the else if so this means if if whatever the user says contains the word clear we need to delete all the items so to delete all the items what we are going to do is let's bring in this set block set shopping list to we are going to put create empty list because we will create an empty list and everything will be deleted next after we do all of these we need to show the way we need to show the list shopping list in this list view which is list view one so in the block section what we are going to do is let's go to list view one and here you can see set list view one dot elements to the elements are going to be the shopping list variable so let, let's just duplicate this and put it here now let us test the app and let's see if it is working so here you can see the shopping list app so i'm going to use the voice command and i'm going to add and remove some items add apple now you can see that the apple is added add orange add banana remove orange now you can see that whenever I say remove the item is getting removed. Now I'm going to say clear all. Clear all. Now you can see that everything is cleared. Next, do you want to create a voice notes app using MIT App Inventor? It's an AI app. So watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor here.